uh, from MIA. We are back with the next installment of our conversation series via Skype. I'm very lucky today to be sitting here with Jaco Shulutak from Pangertung. Um, Jaco is using an interpreter because he speaks Inuktitut, so this is a great opportunity for everyone to hear Inuktitut, which is a living language, and get to know him a little bit better. So hi, um, how are you doing today? <laughs> He's doing good today. Um, he was doing some carbon earlier today. Nice. That's excellent. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Uh, so how and when did you start making carvings? When did you start making art? Um, he started carving. He started carving when he was about the age of sixteen. Mm -hmm. He, uh, yeah, he started at the age of sixteen. Mm -hmm. He probably says that he is now sixty years old and he's still carving. That's amazing. So, why did you start carving? Did, because it was interesting, no. or? Mm -hmm. He said that he started carving because he found it fascinating and he mentioned that like as you go along you get you get to progress with the carvings and it really turns when it turns out nice mm -hmm. so that's why well that's one of the main reasons why he started carving that's great uh can you tell me how you get your inspiration or decide what to make when you start carving <laughs> Um, some of the carvings that are, well, the ones that he does, sometimes they're like orders from other people and asking him to make like a certain carving, mm -hmm. but some of them are from inspirational thought mm -hmm. and like what goes just through his mind when he's like picturing what what goes with what and all those. That's great. Uh, a lot of the works that we have here of yours are sednas. Uh, do you like carving those or do you think it's important to carve those? <laughs> The Sedna ones, like, have you heard the story of the Sedna? Yep. Okay. They have, well, the story of the Sedna has, like, really good meaning, and he's saying that he wants to pass along the knowledge of the Sedna with his carving, because, mm -hmm. like, they have knowledge and yeah. like inspiration. They're I mean they're the beautiful. Sedna. They're really lovely. He also also wants to point out with the Sinda curving that um, with the inspiration of Sedna, mm -hmm. for instance, if you went out boating or um, anything like that, if you fell in the water, he's for sure he knows that he would be able to get the help from Sedna. 
That's amazing. Mm. 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 Yeah, he wanted to point that out. Absolutely. I mean, that's wonderful. Uh, and people here love them. They think that they're just like fabulous and they're so detailed. Uh, I was wondering how long it takes you to finish a carving. Of a sedna or like any particular Yeah, carving. I mean, I guess the sednas or any of them, really. <laughs> If it's like a sort of a big carving, it yeah. usually takes me about four to five days. Okay. The one that I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, four to five days is usually the mark with the carving study does. That's really fast. I would have thought they would take it like a lot longer uh, because there's so much sort of work that goes into them. Uh, he also mentioned that um, during the winter, it usually a bit harder for him to carve because of the coldness mm -hmm. yeah yeah the cold might take take it a bit more longer yeah for sure uh so i know that some of your pieces have ivory or other materials sort of into the stone uh, do you like working with ivory or do you prefer the stone and what's different about using each one yeah, he he's saying that he enjoys putting like details and like metals and ivories and all those into the carving. Mm -hmm. That gives the more, more details and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are they harder to work with than the stone, or is it about the same? Yeah, it's basically the same. Okay. With, yeah. That's interesting. Um, I also hear you just got back from Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all the way from Switzerland, yeah. you mentioned. Uh, did you have a nice trip and did you make anything while you were out there? Yeah, he had an awesome time. He enjoyed it. Um, and the people that he was staying with, like, are very welcoming and great, like, greedy. So he had a good time. That's great. Mm. He also mentioned from the flight from Iqaluit to Switzerland, like dro dropping by me with, by small settlements. They took 18 hours. Oh my god! For them to get there. That is a really <laughs> long trip. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> yeah. So I guess you had to make a, a number of stops then. Like. Yeah. Uh, 
He mentioned that he has to drop by Calouet, Ottawa, Toronto, wow. oh, sorry, Montreal, in Montreal mm. and yeah. London, England, into the place that he wow. went to. <laughs> well, next time you'll have to come through Toronto so that you can stop by and say hello. He will let me go to Toronto, 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 he also mentioned that he stayed overnight in Toronto while trying to return from the trip. Oh. Well, next time you should come in. We would be very happy to have you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, next time you should come in. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you get to travel a lot to talk to people about your art? Yeah, he mentioned that um, he's gone to maybe several different places in the and then I would to talk about his parents and they have requested him to um requested him to talk about his parents and so yeah. he also mentioned that back in two thousand ten mm-hmm. he was asked to go to England. Oh wow um to talk to That's great. Um so I know that you're also very involved with the cooperative uh, in your community. Is it right that you're the president? No, he's no longer longer the president for okay. the member, but he is a regular. He is just a regular member now. But you used to be the president. Yeah. Okay. He was the chair. With the last term, he was the president, but now he's the director for this. Okay, that's okay. great. Um, do you think that the cooperative has helped your career as an artist? <laughs> Uh, yes, it has benefited a lot in that he mentions that nowadays, like, He's not noticing the help that he gets even from the uh, well, the manager. Mm-hmm. So he is grateful that the co-op is there for him, for him, like for support and all that. 